ಲೈಕ್ ಬಾಂಬೆ ಅವರ್ ಆರ್ಥೋಪೆಡಿಕ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಮೆಟಾಕಾರ್ಪಲ್ ಶಾಫ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಥ್ರೀ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಲ್ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ if we don't correct the mal rotation of the fracture it affects the function of the hand second is angulation deformity it affects the grip strength of the hand and the third one is shortening and this shortening will always give a extension lag so as per the literature if there is a shortening of 20 degree then there is a 7 degree of extension lag in metacarpal shaft fractures so these are the three issues whenever we see any shaft fracture of the metacarpal you uh, one one should analyze as per mas mal rotation angulation and shortening Usu usually even if they mal unite or go into non union the metacarpophalangeal joint movements usually are preserved and if that's why except these three problem usually some people or some patients do not uh, opt for uh, surgical intervention the absolute indications for these fractures are irreducible fractures unstable fractures multiple fractures and fractures with the bone loss and open fracture so these are the absolute or reasonable i mean relative indications for fixation of any metacarpal fracture so is it important to know that which digit is involved or if there are multiple digits are involved does it matter in overall function of this metacarpal to give brief uh, idea about this if there is a fracture in the ulnar digits like ring finger and a small finger we make a g the entire grip of the hand comes from the ulnar aspect of the hand so that's why and the second important point here is carpo metacarpal joint in the hand has maximum mobility so that's why accurate reduction and uh, uh, accurate union at ring and small finger shaft metacarpal fracture is necessary if there are multiple digits are involved and if you immobilize them for a longer duration we all know that the stiffness uh, takes place and then uh, another problems like reflex sympathetic dystrophy can happen and that will hamper the grip strength of the hand so and the third important point if there is a sorry uh, the screen is not visible <coughs> so the third important thanks ron so if this uh, isolated fracture if there is a mal rotation angulation deformity and shortening then if it is acceptable that can be treated non operatively let us take one i mean one one example of three problems in the metacarpal shaft fracture so this is what we usually see short or a long spiral oblique fractures usually have a, a mal rotation so these fractures unless you have a absolute stability and correct the rotation they usually do not correct the mal rotation also and if the mal rotation is not corrected the grip strength of the hand will be definitely compromised so the technique to fix them is apart from the bouquet technique first you stabilize the short or long spiral oblique fracture with the interfrac screw and then put a neutralization plate and this is how the x ray looks and they usually have no union complications or they usually unite well in time and you can start mobilization in 3 weeks time after, then after mal rotation another important point is shortening so as seen on the x ray which is on the left side now this is not probably a grossly mal, i mean the angulation deformity is not very severe but if you see the length of the metacarpal of the fourth and fifth digit it is definitely shortened so these patients if they unite in this position their grip strength is going to be affected and when they make a complete fist the loss of knuckle prominence is usually a major issue to have a proper function of the hand and that's why to correct the shortening or to achieve a proper length they need a stable fixation this i have fixed with the plate but another technique is like a multiple stacking of the small wires can also be attempted but you need to have well length i mean the adequate length of the metacarpal especially on the ulnar digit now the third point is displacement and angulation so this is the isolated metacarpal shaft fracture where the angulation is usually you know in index finger 20 degrees angulation is accepted middle finger 30 degree angulation is accepted and ring and small finger 40 degree angulation is accepted these usually these fractures they they see they show radiological union very late because they 
they may not unite also because of the soft tissue interposition in between the intermetacarpal muscles. So this is the technical aspect. We usually consider open reduction. Then this is the extensor digitorum communis of middle and ring finger, and that's a juncture tendini. You retract them properly. Then the interposed soft tissue needs to be debrided adequately and clear the edges of the fragment. And this is how you do the plate osteosynthesis. Once you put the plate, you have adequate periosteal cover or a soft tissue to cover the implant because this implant should not be in direct communication or in contact with the tendons. If they are in direct contact with the tendon, then there is a possibility of, you know, attrition rupture or a weakness in extension lag. So once you restore, once you cover that periosteal layer, the restoration of anatomy is almost near normal. And this is how the post-op X-ray looks. Then if you see a multiple fractures of the metacarpal of the shaft, now these fractures, they may have union at three, three I mean, two months or two and a half months. But then these needs to be fixed with interfragmentary screws. Whenever we are fixing these fractures with interfragmentary screws, remember these fractures have different planes. They are, they are fractured. So meta, I mean the interfrag screw should be in a different planes. Then only you will be able to correct malrotation properly. So for second and third metacarpal, we have intermetacarpal space approach. And fourth and fifth, you can approach through fourth intermetacarpal space. This is another digit. When the central digits are involved, usually union and range of motion is not an issue, but the grip strength is the main issue. They can be fixed with small tension band wiring. Nowadays, with good quality of implant, we don't need to use tension band wire. What should not be done for a hand fracture is we should never strap like this and consider you know, union, because they will not give problem only at MCP joint. They will give problem at PIP joint also. So once you fix them properly, they can have an adequate function. So if you achieve a proper angulation correction and a length is maintained, then they can have a proper angulation correction. So remember MAS in metacarpal shaft fracture, ulnar digit should be offered surgery. And evidence says that early mobilization can be done with the open reduction and plating, followed by interfrag screws and implants and K wires. Ultimately, the function is usually normal if you stabilize them properly. But early return to work can be predicted with about treatment option. Thank you so much.